what we started to get from the Enlightenment was we did have this move up to rational, world-centric, universal approaches. But after about a century or so, reality was reduced to mostly just exterior material realities. And so, and that's, as that happened, um, we started to downplay things like, well, with the good, the true, and the beautiful, that's morals, science, and art. And the aesthetic and the moral dimension tended to start getting downplayed because the only thing that was really real was that objective third-person truth. And so that's what we were looking to physics for, and that's what we started looking to biology for, and, and so on. And so we, we had moved up a stage or so in any sort of major developmental sequence, and that was good. And by the way, it was also why we really didn't get rid of slavery until about 150 years ago. Because even though prior to the Enlightenment, all of, almost all of the great meditative and contemplative systems had emerged, from Zen Buddhism to Christian mysticism, almost all of those societies had slavery. And they had slavery because the process of waking up or having a satori, an enlightenment, a realization, that's a different process from the actual developmental process of growing up. And those go through various stages, Gene a variation on Gene Gepser's version of those stages of growing up is archaic to magic, to mythic, to rational, to pluralistic, to integral. And so it was only as we moved from ethnocentric stages, which had had experiences of waking up, and many of them had codified those. I mean, this was the way to get to an ultimate reality was have this experience of waking up. And integral, by the way, includes that as a very, very important part of our overall human potential. But that's separate from developmental growing up. And they're relatively independent. You can be high on one and fairly low in another. So humanity had had these experiences of waking up, but they still had slavery because they were having waking up, but not as much growing up or developmental moving forward. That's what happened with the Western Enlightenment, is that we moved up a stage in growing up. Didn't change much in waking up. As a matter of fact, that sort of went down a little bit. But what we did do when we got up to world-centric is we looked around and said, wait a minute, what? You, you, one person is owning another person? That's not right. That's very, very bad. Shame on you. And so in literally a 100-year period, from about 1770 to 1870, very recent. Slavery was outlawed in every major rational industrial country on the face of the planet. Nothing like that had ever happened. So it was moving up a stage just at large. It didn't mean that individuals couldn't do that or sometimes even higher. But for culture at large, this was a big shift. And that's really what the Western Enlightenment was about. And that's what the uh, modern, universal, world-centric, democratic ideals started to come to those stages of development. 